guys. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today with my feeding video. Um, I've seen others do this before, um, but I thought about doing the same. Um, I'm going to feed my tarantulas in order of um, ease of keeping them. Like, I'm going to do all of my beginner's tarantulas first, and then we'll move on to um, intermediate, and then I will um, lastly have the advanced uh, at the uh, end. So, the first tarantula I'm going to feature as a perfect beginner tarantula would be the Avicularia avicularia, the common peep toe. Uh, these are very, uh, for the most part, they are very docile tarantulas. Uh, they would much rather run away from you, shoot feces at you, than bite you. And of course, you know, just like with anything else, there's always exceptions to the rule. Uh, I'm just going by what's typical uh, for these uh, particular tarantulas. And they do leap about also, so don't let that uh, surprise you. Uh, the only thing uh, you got to be a little concerned about is just make sure you keep the humidity level uh, at a, a acceptable uh, level with these. They're a little more sensitive and uh, they require a little bit higher humility, uh, humidity <laughs> than like your brachies and, and uh, your gramostolas. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But other than that, this is a, a, a perfect beginner's tarantula. So. I'm going to, uh, this one really prefers crickets, so that's what this one's going to eat. And that, of course, is assuming I can get one. <laughs> hey, crickets. But uh, he loves crickets, as you can see. Oh, yeah, he loves them. If you can get it, you can have it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll get it out of there, and you can get it later. <laughs> and he will, believe me. He loves crickets. But yes, this is a perfect uh, beginner's tarantula. If you're looking to get your child uh, that's old enough to keep animals a uh, tarantula, this is a very good one to start off with. Uh, or anyone else who's just starting the hobby. So yes, avicularia, avicularia, the common pink toe. They typically have a very sweet disposition. I can't tell if that cricket is killed or if it uh, He's like, my mouth is full. <laughs> my therapist's dermy doesn't care. <laughs> she takes a whole bunch at one time, but uh, you know, this one's just a juvie, so can't fit quite as many in his mouth as some of my other teas. But isn't he stunning? Look at that. He's a cutie. I think Avix are the cutest when they walk. So yeah, aside from keeping the humidity levels a little higher with these teas, um, you know, they're perfect beginners. All right, let's move on to our next beginner tarantula. The next uh, beginner's tarantula that I would like to focus on is the Brachypalma ibopelosum, the Honduran curly hair. This one is another perfect uh, beginner's tarantula. And the reason for that is that they are mostly docile. Uh, at, they would much rather uh, run and hide and maybe even flick some hairs at you than bite you, typically. Um, also, they are very easy to care for. They don't require much humidity, so they're perfectly fine with a full water dish, which I need to do. But uh, yeah, they're not the most beautiful, but uh, these tarantulas are unique because of their curly hairs, as you can see. And that uh, helps them to stand out a bit and make them interesting despite their lack of color. 
But uh, yeah, uh, this one's a sweetheart. Definitely a, a, a great tarantula to start your hobby off with. And let's see, I think I'll give this one a super worm. I got a whole bunch of worms the other day, so hopefully. Of course, they're all uh, burrowed here at the bottom of my uh, super worm enclosure. Okay. Ooh, I heard that. <laughs> Made a crunching sound. Oh yeah, they like to eat. Yeah, get you a bracky. Brackies are awesome. Oh yeah, and while we're at it, I'll get you some water. I took your advice, Sturmy76, and moved the water dish over here. And uh, it's definitely un uh, on top of more stable ground. So, I appreciate that. I was thinking about moving it anyway, but uh, uh, you... Uh, got my attention to do it sooner rather than later, so very good. All right. So yes, Brachypalma albopelosum, the Honduran curly hair. All right, let's see uh, what other teas I have that are perfect for beginners. For those of you um, who are familiar with the tarantula hobby, uh, I'm sure you recognize what kind of tarantula this is. This is the Brachypalma smithy, the Mexican red bean. This is another one that I would recommend for beginners. Uh, just like with the albopelosum, uh, this one is very easy to care for. Just keep a full water dish and they're good. Um, and again, they would rather run away and hide and flick hairs at you than bite, uh, typically. so. Yeah, perfect beginners right here, and they're just, they're stunning. They're very good eaters, so they won't let you down. Uh, so yeah, this is another one, highly recommend. The only thing is, they're just a little on the pricey side, uh, if you want to get a larger one. I bought mine uh, very small, so mine wasn't incredibly pricey. Um, At least they are in the U.S. anyway. Um, I don't know what the price is like in other countries, but in the U.S. they're a little on the pricey side. But I'm going to give this one a super worm as soon as I can find one. <laughs> Crickets are hard to catch because they're hopping around, and super worms are hard to find sometimes because they're all hidden and burrowed. I thought I had a lot of them in here. So oh, bear with me a minute. This video is already going to be long, I'll tell you that. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, perfectly good eater. You like to ease it eat, get you a bracky. Oh yeah, every, everyone who is into the tarantula hobby needs a bee smithy not a want, it's a need. <laughs> well yeah, get you a bee smithy. And here's what a spiderling looks like. Uh, that's a bee smithy. So that's what it looks like, you know, not too impressive when they're young. And then they turn into that. Cool, huh? So I'm just going to uh, give this one, uh, spray it down just a little bit with some water since it's too small to have a water dish. And I'm going to put a uh, maimed uh, pinhead cricket in there and just let it eat it when it feels like it. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Brachypalma smithy, Mexican red knee. Okay, next. And a, uh, another good beginner tea is the Eupalastris campostratus, the pink zebra beauty. It's at the very bottom there, right there. 
and um, you know not much to look at right now but as it gets older it's uh, the body is going to be overall kind of a grayish color but the hairs will have pink highlights on them so be a very nice tea and another one that is typically docile so another great beginner's tea and I see this one didn't well it may have sucked the juices out of that cricket so I may I'm gonna offer it another maimed cricket but uh, yeah so with this one I'm just gonna give it a maimed pinhead cricket um, in fact maybe even dead because this this tarantula is so tiny I don't want it to get hurt because crickets can bite and just sprinkle a few drops of water in there and again they're very easy to care for all right we'll move on to the next one here's another very good beginners tarantula this is the paraphyza parvula the chilean gold again very easy to care for typically docile and they're very beautiful so Let's see, I gave this one a super last time. I have to keep an extra eye on this one because this one likes to uh, be, be adventurous. This one likes to run around. Check out that green carapace and the mirror patch on the abdomen. Isn't that cool? Yeah. They're gorgeous. I don't see too many people own these. Come on, buddy. Don't you want that? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Seemed a little interested. If the cricket would just move a little bit more, I think it will be history. Sorry, I'm moving a lot. <laughs> I'm a little fidgety today. But uh, yeah, another great beginners. I really enjoy mine. And I'll enjoy watching this one grow. Right now it's just about an inch and a half specimen. Well, I think the tea's interested, but uh, we'll take it later, I'm sure. But we have many more teas to feed. This video is already going to be long enough, so we best move on. All right, next. I forgot to show you my other Brachypalma abopelosum, the Honduran curly hair. So here's that one. This one's my baby. And of course, just like I said uh, with the other one, um, perfect beginner's tea. So, I've never seen this one attack food on camera because it's usually been burrowed. So I'm going to see that you know, since it's uh, out in the open, if we can maybe get an attack from this one. Let's see here. And of course, getting uh, pinhead crickets is, in a way, more difficult to uh, get them out of their enclosure than the larger crickets. So bear with me a moment. Just uh, gaze at my beauty here. <laughs> oh, there's a... Oh, dumb dumb. Sorry, folks. <sighs> I 
Mm -hmm. I don't know when this one molted last. Uh, this haven't had this one for very long. So, but I'm going to leave it in there. It's a little maimed anyway, so I don't think it's going to do any harm. I'll just check up on it later. And I'll just spray the enclosure down just a little bit so the tea can have a drink. So now we'll move on uh, to some other good beginners. Here's my Afonal Palma Simani, the Costa Rican Zebra. Uh, this is another uh, beginner's tarantula. Um, and just like the other ones I've mentioned, um, they would rather just run and hide and flick hairs at you than bite, typically. So uh, they're very easy to care for. With this one, I just spray half the enclosure and then the other half's dry. And uh, since uh, this one has uh, molted and it's been long enough uh, for the uh, tea to harden up, I should be able to offer it a cricket. It's been a long time since I've gotten this one to feed because it was in pre-malt for the longest time and then of course I had to wait after. Uh, for it to harden up, so I don't know, we'll see. This one does some of my best attacks when it's in an attacking mood. But yeah, there are uh, more teas that are just really easy to care for. I guess it's not interested in eating right now, at least not on camera. That's a shame because this one does some awesome attacks. Oh well, that's okay. Alright, let's go to the next beginner. This one is the Afonopama calcodes. Right there, the desert blonde. And uh, you uh, pretty much uh, take care of this one the same way you do the Simani. Just dampen part of the substrate. Keep the water dish full if it has a water dish. And um, that's that. And uh, they're, like I said, they're typically shy and would rather run away from you. But they do flit, cares. But uh, they're not necessarily bitey. I mean, they, you know, they're, like I said, there's exceptions, but. Uh, Typically, they're, they'd rather just be left alone. So I'm just going to put a, you know what? Hold on just a second. I had a live cricket in here. Well, I see that this one did not eat its cricket. So I'm just going to, uh, could be in pre-malt. Um, or it's just not hungry, so I'm just going to uh, moisten the uh, sub part of the substrate and uh, can get a drink. Alright, next. Next up, I thought it would be fitting to uh, do the Gramostolas. Uh, this is the Gramostola rosea, and this is a tarantula that uh, probably most people get as their first tarantula. And uh, Probably the biggest reason for that is that they're very easy to come by. Um, also, uh, despite their moodiness, uh, they can be uh, typically docile. But uh, like I said, beware of their moodiness. Uh, you know, one day they'll be perfectly fine chilling on your hand. Next minute, they might bite you. So just, you know, beware of that. But they're very easy tarantulas to take care of. I mean, seriously. Just keep your water dish full, they're good. They like it dry, so. Um, the other thing uh, with these is that they do tend to fast, so don't be surprised if they don't eat for quite a while. And that's what this one's doing right now. So, <laughs> I won't be offering this one food for that very reason. Yeah, I mean, even though they're moody, I still say they're good beginners. You know, maybe not your first tarantula, although it was my first, <laughs> but uh, still, you know, overall, good beginners. All right, 
Let's move on to our next Gramistola. Here's my Gramistola poker piece, the Choco Golden Knee, and just like with the Rosea, um, they're very easy to care for, prefer it dry, uh, but just keep their water dish full. And if they don't have a water dish, uh, just lightly spray their um, enclosure so they can have a drink. And, um, you know, uh, they probably eat better than your Rosea's, but uh, they can fast too. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, again, they're moody, so just be careful with that. Other than that, they're great beginner teas. Um, <clears throat> they do get pretty large, so be ready for that. If you prefer larger tarantulas, this is a good one. So, um, this one had molted not too long ago, uh, but it has been long enough to where I could feed it. And uh, we'll offer it uh, food. This one has only taken food from me on camera, I believe, one time. So I keep hoping that there'll be another time. Oh, got a bunch of lint on that one. That's no good. Hmm. Kind of got gut, gut spilling out on that one. There, I saved you some trouble. There. A little shy about it, but there it is. I already got some of the juices spilling out of the cricket for you. How about that? <laughs> so yeah. If you want a large tea that uh, is a good beginner's, I recommend this one. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm just going to mist it just a little bit, uh, just enough to drink, and we'll move on to the next one. Alright guys, I think we're starting to enter the realm of intermediate, although I would make this early intermediate, late beginner early intermediate. This is a Brachypoma Bomi, a Mexican fire leg, very easy to care for, and the only reason I put them in intermediate is because they are very skittish, despite being a brachy. If you are allergic to tarantula hairs, uh, this one flicks lots of urticating hairs. In fact, this one's probably the king of flicking urticating hairs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're very fast, a little on the feisty side, um, voracious appetite. So, yeah, I mean, beginner, intermediate, you know. Still, you know, easy to care for. Wouldn't be my first bracky though. But uh, I think uh, we'll put, give this one a cricket. In fact, since that was a small cricket, I'm going to put another one in there. This tea can take down a big superworm. But uh, yes, this is my favorite Brachypalma, in case uh, you're new to my channel and didn't know that. They are awesome. Well, in case you want that other cricket in there, it's there for you. Alright, let's move on to our next intermediate. <clears throat> 